welcome to this video from zonalaudio.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some hard groove drums. This is essentially the start of a new product called Hard Groove Drums Template, which is a follow on from our Schranz Drums Template and Industrial Techno Drums Template. Thank you very much if you have purchased either or both of those. It really helps support the channel, helps us keep making videos like this. So today, yeah, we're going to look at more kind of hard groove, uh, groovy drums, and in particular, how to make a top loop really unique. It's this one here. We'll be doing full breakdown of this loop once the product is released. But what I want to do is, yeah, demonstrate how to make a top loop like this. So I'm just going to start with a couple of audio tracks. As a side note, this tutorial might be slightly more long form and there might be times where there's not much talking and just some kind of noodling around, which I really think is beneficial to help with the overall understanding of the process. Where I'm going to start um, is actually with just some basic 909 loops, and there's a new pack we're working on called 909 on Heat. Some really interesting loops here that are recorded through the Electron analog heat. Let's go for, let's just have a listen through some of them. Part of the reason I'm choosing these is because they've been recorded directly from a Behringer RD9, and some of them have between 51 and 50, sort of 56% swing, and that swing is just really nice for this style. So, yeah, I'm basically going to look for some to use small sections of. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is set uh, this to be the forward arrow, which basically turns this into transient designer, and we can just reduce the sustain. And then I'm just going to loop a very small section. And EQ it out. I just want those highs. And listen to that against the kick. Cool, so one thing I'm gonna do now, just to give a bit more random element to this, is from our pack Z up, there's some effects and they're just kind of like noise generators. So that can just go in there, low in the mix. And then I'm gonna grab uh, an Amen break. Amen break and just break samples in general, really good. <laughs> making some top loops out of.
I'm not sure why this one is making that extra loud hit. some side chain from the kick so we are going to process these together but as I'm reaching this stage I just want to have them ducking okay I think I want maybe one or two more layers in this loop. What I really want is something that is atmospheric and not particularly drum-like. Gonna go to our Tales of the Deep sample pack. This has some good atmosphere loops in. Nothing too tonal here. Just gonna mute the noise whilst I talk. So yeah, something like this, possibly. And again, we're just gonna grab a short section. That's, yeah, perfect. So trying to generate a bit of push and pull within the bar. And the way those vocals come in at the end of the bar. me so I'm using a uh, chop and chain you can download this free now from zonalaudio.com just to give it a bit of groove feeling the clap on that one, it's getting in the way a little bit. struggling to decide but whilst we're on this one I will just demonstrate the swing that I was talking about so we can see these notes are being played quite late so that really gives a nice groovy element to the sound. Okay. 
Okay, so we could go quite a bit further with the processing of some of these. But like I said, we are going to process them together also. So let's just add a bit of beef to this atmosphere. <laughs> Okay, um, probably going for more layers than I expected here, but I've just um, desired for some sort of rim or clave. have one in this loop already let's go for a rim and for a tiny bit of variation let's move one of them forward and one of them back so really kind of subliminal. Okay, so quite a lot of layers there for one loop. What we're going to do one more. So this one you could consider slightly more advanced kind of process but we have a send here very long reverb and uh, we see the chop and chain here which at the moment is deactivated and it's also side chained from itself so we'll see as the signal is fed in this actually side chains it and gives it that really choppy feeling so we're adding a lot of gain here as well But yeah, it gives a nice um, kind of energetic feel to it. So one more audio track. I will do resampling. So I solo this. Let's make it a little bit more choppy. Okay, probably catch up, captured a bit more than we need there, but um, let's just loop a section that we want. And then we can obviously process this quite a bit more. And um, before we go on to that, let's remove this from the sand, unsolo that, take that off and just reduce the output there. Okay, and now we have our uh, reverb capped or whatever you want to call it. And then, yeah, we can actually go a little bit further with this. Let's just try a little bit of overdrive. And I'm going to compress it from the kit. To get that extra super pumping feel. So just going to do a little bit of rebalancing now.
there is uh, a few more techniques we can explore to get some movement in our loop. I'm going to use the auto filter and put a half bar rate on the LFO and have it moving down. We've got the notch. Okay, and then I'm basically going to do a similar thing for this one, but we'll have it moving. I'll have it on 12 dB bandpass. We'll set this to be one bar. This has happened just by circumstance, but I, when I did that rebalancing, I panned one of the amens slightly to the right, one slightly to the left, and then we've put slightly different filters moving on them. So really giving a lot of texture. To the cool, so yeah, let's process these together as a group. I'm gonna go for a little bit of delay and then some saturation. Maybe drum bus. Let's go saturate. Okay, and then I'm just going to squash it a little bit with a limiter. So I'm just going to reduce the ceiling until I can see that there's some. In fact, I'm going to, I am going to compress it properly first. So yeah, I'm going to look to get a bit more bite out of the sound using compression. So we'll start on. Let's go a ratio of eight. I'm probably going to go fast attack and release. Take the side chain off and take the makeup gain off. Okay, so doing about 2 dB of gain reduction there, which we can actually see on the reader here. I'm just going to go a touch more and then increase the output by three. Um, and now when we do uh, a quick AB, we can get the definitive answer as to whether we have made it better or not. So minus Okay, happy with that.
very nice. So finally, we can create another resampling channel. Um, I want to resample uh, this group. What I don't want is any further group processing because this is going to be put back into this group processing. So I'll turn this off, solo the loop and record enable the resampling channel. Again, probably far more than we need there. But yeah, I would encourage you if you're making this style of techno or pretty much any style of dance music, experiment with creating your own loops regardless of where you're generating them from. Record them into your door or just bounce them out directly into your own folder so you have a nice selection of unique loops to work from. And yeah, now this one is in our session. We'll mute this and then it's there, easy to grab, do further processing with chop up much easier to deal with than a group of six layers so yeah they have it making your own top loops like i say we'll be doing a further full deconstruction into the rest of the drums in this video so please like and subscribe so you don't miss that don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of when the new videos come out i hope you found this video useful informative and i will see you in the next one